So you think you know smartphones? Foldables, gaming phones, budget beasts, camera kings, retro legends. Today, we're breaking down every type of phone on the market and what they're really made for. Because no two phones are truly the same. And if you're buying in 2025 without watching this first, you're probably wasting your money. This isn't sponsored, no BS, just a brutally honest breakdown from someone who's lived and breathed tech for years. Let's unlock the truth behind every category of phone in the game. Foldable phones, the future or a fad? Foldables are the flashiest players in the game right now. From the Galaxy Z Fold 5 to the OnePlus Open, we've seen major leaps. They give you a phone and a tablet in one. But let's be honest, they're still fragile, expensive, and not for everyone. Creases, durability concerns, and app optimization issues still exist. So who are foldables really for? Power users, multitaskers, and early adopters who crave productivity and screen space. Not ideal for gamers or rugged users, and definitely not budget friendly. Still, they're pushing the industry forward. And if you're into innovation, foldables are where the hype lives. Flip phones, retro vibes with a modern brain. The modern flip phone, like the Galaxy Z Flip 5 or Motorola Razr, hits different. It's compact, stylish, and perfect for people who hate big phones but still want a flagship feel. But don't let the nostalgia blind you. Battery life? Meh. Durability? Still sketchy. They're for people who want form factor, fashion, and flair. Not the best for gaming, business, or productivity, but if you want to stand out, flip phones have a vibe nothing else touches. Gaming phones, power. Now we're talking about raw power. Gaming phones like the Asus Raji Phone 8, Red Magic 9 Pro, and Lenovo Legion are absolute monsters. Built-in cooling, shoulder triggers, high refresh rates, and insane battery life. If performance is your priority, whether you're gaming or multitasking, these phones crush it. But they're bulky, not always great at camera photography, and software updates can be slower. Still, for mobile gamers, streamers, or power users, gaming phones are straight-up beasts. If you've made it this far, you're clearly someone who wants to make smarter tech decisions, so why not hit subscribe to Daikon right now? I dive deep into tech truth like no one else, with honest takes, real-world comparisons, and zero fluff. Now back to the phones. Want DSLR-like shots in your pocket? Look at phones like the Pixel 8 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, or the Xiaomi 14 Ultra. These aren't just phones with cameras. They're cameras with phones attached. Crazy sensor sizes, advanced AI processing, raw capabilities, and cinematic video modes. Perfect for vloggers, content creators, or people replacing their camera gear. The trade-off, price, and sometimes gimmicky features. But if you value photography over everything else, these phones are unbeatable. Button phones, yes, they still exist. Yup, button phones are still alive. Think Nokia 105, Geophone, or ultra-secure models like the Light Phone 2. Who are they for? Minimalists, seniors, travelers, or anyone escaping digital addiction. They're durable, cheap, and often have insane battery life. Weeks, not days. You won't find YouTube, gaming, or Instagram here. But that's the point. Pure communication, zero distraction. In a world addicted to screens, sometimes the simplest phone is the smartest one. Budget phones, value kings, or compromise machines. Phones like the Redmi Note 13 Pro, Moto G Power, or Realme Narzo give you maximum value at minimum price. Under $300, and you're getting 120 hertz displays, solid cameras, huge batteries, perfect for students, secondary phones, or anyone not chasing trends. But yes, you lose out on flagship performance, long-term software updates, and premium materials. Still, if your needs are basic and your budget tight, budget phones are underrated heroes. Flagship phones the premium experience. iPhone 15 Pro, Galaxy S24 Ultra, Pixel 8 Pro, these are your high-end kings. Blazing fast, top-tier cameras, best build quality, and long software support. You pay more, but you also get more. These phones rarely disappoint. They're for users who want the best of everything, from design to performance to status. But honestly, most people don't need a flagship. They want one, but don't actually use half of what they're paying for. Still, for those who can afford it, flagships are where refinement lives. Business phones, productivity-first devices. 
Think BlackBerry-style legacy, now evolved into Samsung Galaxy Note series, iPhones with iOS security, or even Microsoft Surface Duo. These phones focus on productivity, security, and business tools. They shine with styluses, dex mode, Microsoft integration, and secure networks. Not built for gaming or flashy TikToks, but for professionals, they're mission critical. Modular and experimental phones, the rare breeds. From the Fairphone to Project Ara Wii, these are designed for customization, sustainability, or experimentation. Hmm. You can upgrade parts, repair them easily, or even run unique OSs. Not mainstream, but very future forward. Great for enthusiasts, developers, and eco-conscious users, but don't expect flagship polish here. Rugged phones built like tanks. Phones like the Cat S75, Ulaphone Armor, or Doogie S100 are designed for one thing, survival. Drop them, dunk them, take them to a volcano, they'll live. Perfect for construction workers, adventurers, field researchers. They're heavy, bulky, and not the best at photos, but you won't find better durability anywhere. Concept and niche phones, the risky innovators. Every now and then, we get phones that break all the rules. Phones like the Nothing Phone with transparent backs and glyph lights, or phones with e-ink displays, solar charging, rollable screens, or even dual displays like the Yoda Phone or LG Wing. These are concept phones, niche phones. They don't sell in millions, but they inspire the industry. They're not always practical and sometimes they flop, but they push boundaries. Perfect for collectors, tech geeks, or anyone who loves being on the edge of what's possible. Just know, you're often paying more for style and uniqueness than day-to-day -day functionality. But for some users, that's exactly the point. Which one is right for you? So what type of phone fits your life? Are you chasing performance, photography, durability, simplicity? There's no one size fits all, and that's the truth no one tells you. Phones today are more diverse than ever. Your perfect phone is out there, but it's not about specs, it's about what you need. If this video helped, hit that like button, subscribe to Daikon, and drop a comment. What type of phone do you use and why? I read every single one, and I might feature your comment in the next video. See you in the next one. Stay smart, stay curious, and as always, stay Daikon.